Hi, I'm Patrick Capiello, Wine Director of Gilt Restaurant, and today we're going to talk about corked wine, one of my least favorite subjects. So cork tain itself is known as trichloral anisole, which is also known as TCA, basically a byproduct a chemical compound that occurs when a certain airborne fungus meets uh, some sort of chlorinated product, whether it's a cleaning product or a pesticide. And uh, if it gets inside the cork and then the cork in turn gets put in the wine, you'll see the infection transfer into your wine. And not a harmful thing, so if you accidentally drink a wine that's been infected by cork taint, it's not going to hurt you, so you don't have to fear for that. The way you detect cork taint is primarily through the smell of the wine. A lot of times the cork will smell as well. Uh, that's why you see traditionally someone is smelling corks before they serve the wine. But ideally it's more about whether the, the wine is infected with the problem, not necessarily the cork. So, when you get a taste poured at a restaurant or whether you're at home and you're tasting, uh, just pouring a small pour and, and swirling it and smelling it. The smells you're going to be looking for are kind of a musty smell. Um, it's a smell that I smell often in cardboard or um, it even can occur like in sweaters that are stored someplace that's a little bit more moist um, and it can actually stick with you for a while. It can occur in wines in small amounts and be kind of a more of a background noise or it can be something that's really um, intense and really pollutes the whole wine. That's why a lot of winemakers are turning to screw caps or synthetic corks as alternate closures, which can ensure the TCA not being infected uh, through the cork itself. Thankfully, this wine's not, to, not infected with cork taint, so we can start drinking. Uh, I'm Patrick Capiello. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.